think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. On taste of one minute action right to Dr. Stone, episode 14, Master of Flame. Oh boy, we that was a good episode. Every step they took in order to procure, you know, the drug is coming back, and it's all coalescing into a singular badass moment for Chrome. Now, last we left off, our heroes have started the grand bout, and it seems that luck is not on the Kingdom of Science side. First round is Kinro versus Magma. We saw a little bit of back and forth with Kinro taking an early lead, but once Magma jumped to mid-range, Kinro's weakness began to show. Yes, just like Suika, he is nearsighted. And in an effort to even the odds, and with brash determination, Suika throws her own mask into the ring, where Kinro is able to take it and get the upper hand against Magma. Starting out this episode, we see that Magma is playing possum. Oh, I can't move, but do you really think that that mask is, is per the rules? What's Knowing this, goading Kinro in to go talking to the official, even the official says, no, it's you're not using it as a weapon, therefore it's not against the rules. And before they're even done talking, Magma comes in and sucker punches him, knocking Kinro out and destroying the mask in the meantime. Like, what the hell, dude? I mean, we already know he's super underhanded. We, he, I mean, he tried to kill Gein, but still seeing this, it just it just strikes a chord with me. Like, this guy is a dick. I can't trust him to be a leader. Hell, I can't trust him to be a good guy, let alone the leader of an entire village, as well as Ruri's husband. But with that, though, the official first round goes to Magma. Now, the second round is a little weird. I didn't get it at first, but then I, you know, I rewatched it. It's Chrome versus Mantle, and the reason that Mantle took a dive is the fact that Magma noticed that Kuhaku is coming back, and she only has a certain amount of time to get there, so Mantle, you know, taking that dive, speeds up the process of the official counting Kuhaku out, which she barely made it by seconds. We see Suika. Suika is just blaming herself. Oh, I, I hate this. This is all my fault. Mantle tricked me and tied me up, and she goes, no, it's, you see this loving, embracing hug. No, 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 it's okay. I just wanted to make sure you're, okay, you're alive. But with that, though, Kuhaku is declared disqualified. Senku moves on, and so that's the winner of round three. Now, round four is where hilarity ensues. It is Jinro. He's been sucking back all of that energy, the caffeine, all the shit that Senku used to make that energy drink. So we see this kind of inner monologue versus reality, and it's just absolutely hilarious. And even though he is completely battered and bruised, his ego has twisted his self-reflection to the point where he thinks he's OP as shit. And this scares his opponent so much so he backs up to the edge and with a single blow knocks him over. And honestly, ending that entire bit with Kinro shitting himself so bad he turns into Weathered Husk is fucking hilarious. Definitely love the fact that they use this character for comical relief. It's just, it's peppered in nicely. I mean, this is an intense battle, but just to soften it up right there, it was, it was, in my eyes, it was perfect. But now we have a match I would have never seen coming, and the outcome is so shocking, I'm still reeling from it. From my point of view, Chrome never really stood a chance. I thought it was all gonna be up to Senku, because Senku is, you know, the hero of our story. No, what we see is just this badass. It's a battle. It's truly a battle. Starting off, Chrome just gets whacked the shit out of him. Already is bleeding, already bloody. We know that he is physically inferior to Magma, but intelligence-wise, he's just on another level. He sees what remains of Suika's mask, and after trying to blind Magma with some sand, goes over there and huddles over it. So he has some kind of plan with this. Puts it on the end of his stick, and he's he's pointing it at Magma. Magma doesn't know what's doing, but Senku sees right away what Chrome is trying to attempt, using the pace of glass to start a fire, but this is, this is, this is an amazing moment, because even, I think Chrome outsmarted Senku at this point, Senku is saying, you cannot create fire with that type of lens, he goes, no, Senku, trust me, I am a scientist too, what he was doing when he was huddled over the mask, he was actually literally crying and sweating to turn this concave lens into a convex, this shocked Senku, but even so, it's not gonna be that easy to start a flame using this method, luckily, like out of nowhere like some kind of mask vigilante. Who shows up? It's Gein. Yes, Gein is alive. He's back from Shishio's camp and he is there to save the day. Senku does the math quick in his head. Using this method, I need 60 seconds of them being absolutely still. What can you do? Goes up there, literally using his mentalist power, bluffing like a badass. Magma, if you step one step, your heart will explode. I'm cursing you with my sorcery, with my science. Magma is not taking the chance. Still for one minute, what happened? Happens. Oh, up in flames he go. Yes, calming himself to steady his arm. Chrome thinks of Ruri, the only reason he is in this contest. And after the explosion of flames, he knocks him the same way Kinro does to his opponent. 
right out of bounds, right into the water, and Chrome is the one that defeats Magma. Honestly, I did not see that coming. I'm honestly 100% shocked. Now it doesn't matter. It's basically Kinro versus Senku. Doesn't matter who wins. And then Chrome versus Senku. I mean, obviously, Senku's gonna let Chrome win, right? I mean, Chrome has a crush on her, so let it, let him win. Whatever. I mean, but honestly, I did not see that coming. Like I said earlier, it's, it's the way that everything's coming together. We see that we needed glass to create this. Yet he created glasses. The glasses helped Kinro. That took Magma down. That lessened the beating on Chrome, where he was able to withstand it. And even using the Smash Max again to create the fire as a distraction to push him off the ledge, winning the match. Like, honestly, glass has been probably the number one key material so far. I gotta say, I absolutely love today's episode. It was freaking ridiculously good. A couple more steps. We'll have the cure-all. We can give it to Ruri, because we still have a conversation with her about, you know, everything she brought up to Senku. Oh, this anime is so freaking good. So with all that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes.